Welcome back to the YouTube channel Pro Enzo Vids and this afternoon's video is my official thoughts on the Homoly Olukawasi re-signed for Manly until 2031. So first of all we're gonna say wow, what a what a decision by the club here, what a great call and just what a relief honestly because having Ola Kawasi here until 2031 re-signing on an eight-year deal, it's like it's probably the best thing to happen for us as a club recently. I think there's plenty of good things that uh, to be seen next year in the future because the club seems to be building in the right direction, I feel like. But having Ola Kawaji's re-signing added to all that, I think it's really important and it's just huge too. Um, but yeah, now look, honestly, when I saw it today, I was a static. I, I was um, cheering just quietly, you know. Um, but yeah, no, who could blame me if I was, um, you know, going berserk about it. I didn't know, but I could have. Um, but I'm sure most Manly fans can, um, I guess, back up what I've just said. So, um, yeah, I think um, it's worth celebrating and it's worth uh, being excited about. But um, before I dig into my full thoughts, please be sure to like this video if you are new watching right now. And please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, guys, literally one sub away from 3,800. Come on, one more sub and I get there. So hopefully um, that comes soon. But um, anyway... But yeah, look, um, Ola Kawhi re is very important, you know. Obviously, he's been at Manly for a long time, yeah, through the junior systems, he's come through Manly, and um, yeah, he's been with the club for a while, and um, you know, I guess it's very pleasing to see that he um, stayed loyal, and he is a Manly Seagull for, well, pretty much his whole, the rest of his whole career, because by 2031, he'll be uh, 33, so you'd imagine um, that's probably when he'll retire unless he keeps going but um, yeah I, I predict that's his last season 2031 but who knows he can't predict the future unfortunately um, but look just right now I think re-signing him long term is very important for the club and, and just for um, I guess the future because as I said before I think the club is really building in the right direction I think um, yeah, you know, obviously it's been some big, big calls the club has made, and obviously it's some calls where fans are a bit divided about. But I think just having a bit more of a think about it and having a bit more of a read into it, you know, you sort of just now realise that oh look, the club's you know really progressing and really keeping up to date with um you know, the game today, and just really um, making calls for the fans so that they can um, enjoy, sit back and enjoy. And I think that's what the club's trying to plan to do is really you know get the fans excited, the future excited, and I think that's the, you know, great to see, so, um, you know, and probably Ola Kawhi is one of the best back rowers in the game, and if he, if he isn't playing Origin by next year, or isn't playing anywhere as high as that, um, yeah, I'll be shocked, because I think he's on the verge of being an Origin player, and I think hopefully Michael Maguire, who just became the um, New South Wales Blues coach, sees that Ola Kawhi is Origin ready, which I think he is personally, and was robbed to get the spot this year. But hopefully next year in 2024, that's where he makes his Origin debut, because I think he deserves it. But um, see what happens. But look, I think it's it's a moment to really embrace this one, having Ola Kawhi to stay at Manly. He's a, he's a very special player, very special talent, and um, you know, I've, I've always loved the way he's played, and I've always been a big fan of um, Ola Kawatu. You know, he's a fan favourite. Um, there's nothing better than seeing Ola Kawatu crash over close to the line with that big right or left um, palm to, um, to the opposition defender, and yeah, that gets the fans excited. But he, look, he's a tearaway, you know, he's a tearaway. Outside of Sherry Evans and Ola Kawatu, um, and uh, Kola, and usually it's... Um, Saab on the other side, um, it's become a really good combination. And I think at, at the start, that it was sort of slow, but I think now it's sort of just gotten to a point where, yeah, it's really click, click, um, clicking now. I couldn't get the word out for a second. But yeah, with Chez, Olaquadu, Cole, and Saab, I think that's that could potentially be one of the best right um, edges in the comp, right? You know, honestly, it could be. It just needs to be consistent. That's the only thing, but... Yeah, look, it's it's pleasing to see because Manly have had a lot of great players in the past, and I know you know great Manly have had greats that have proven themselves for winning comps and being representative level and achieving high goals and stuff. But uh, look, I don't want to like put big pressure on or just you know go a bit too ahead of myself here. But I do think I do think Olakwari has credentials to be one of the best Manly players ever. I think you know. But, you know, it's a fair point to make because obviously Manly have had plenty of great players, but Ola Kawhi is only 25 years old, you know. He only turned 25 two months ago, and I think 
thinking about it right now, he's going to be 33 by the end of this contract. So he's got his priorities are still in front of him. So if he, if he continues his form and really does pick up where he's left off the past couple of years in, in terms of the way he's played, um, yeah, he's going to be huge. I think he may be considered a manly, you know, a real manly legend, hopefully one day. Um, you know, and I think it's really important that we kept him. And I think it's really important for the club and the fans to see the growth of all the quieter in the manly jumper, I feel like. Um, but, you know, a special shout out to goes to Manasi Fine. I know Fine is no longer a manly player, and I know he's obviously not playing in the in NRL at the moment due to situations. But without Manasse, I think Manly wouldn't have had Ola Kawadu today, to be honest. I think um, after that time, Ola Kawadu drove Fine to training on a day back in 20, I don't know, 16, 15, 17, one of those years. Um, yeah, um, one day he came to training with Fainu and uh, yeah, the coach caught him over uh, at the time. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, he became a melee player from that day. He drove Fainu to training. So it's a very special story that one. So I think Fainu is someone to be forever grateful that he got all acquired to into rugby league and into the melee colours. But um, yeah, look, honestly, great news. Um, Look over the moon about it, and um, you know I think he's in for a big, big season next year. So hopefully the good news keeps on coming, and hopefully um, the best I'll acquire to is yet to come. But thank you for watching. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment your thoughts on the quieter's re-signing. Thanks for watching.